Hello, my name is Andy. I'm with Simplex. Today we're going to be talking about how to test your mod bus using ModScan32 on a, any of our Simplex products. Now I'm going to be testing this using a USB. I'm going to be converting it to 485 and then going into port 2 on your DirectLogic 06 PLC. Now the same rule will apply if you're using uh, port 2 on a D0 DCM module, you know, if it's one of our expansion slots here. And then I will be monitoring my Modbus in the ladder logic using Ethernet and the DirectSoft software. So let's jump to my computer and start using ModScan32. Alright, now that we have everything connected, we're ready to scan the Modbus. Now I'm going to be using ModScan32. You could use Modbus Pull or any other Modbus scanning software. Expand that so we can see everything. Let's go to Connections, Connect. I'm going to be using COM port 11 on my computer. Next, we configure the baud rate and link to match port 2 on our PLC. We're using 9600, word length 8 odd polarity and one stop bit. OK to connect. You can see that our numbers of pull and our valid slave response match. That indicates that we have good communication from my computer to our PLC. Next we're going to open our Modbus map. We can see that the first bit we have is take control in the PLC logic. It's C600 as a coil with 3457 and as a holding register with 416793 and bit 0. So let's start with typing in the Modbus address as a coil. Here we are. Let's turn on that take control bit. So double click, turn it on, update. And then I'm going to jump to my DirectSoft 5 software. I'm connected to the PLC currently. We can, we can see that C600 has turned on and that our take control bit is active right now. Our next bit here is fan control power C601 and 3458. We can double click and turn that on. Update. We go back to our direct soft. You can see that that has turned on. So we have just confirmed that our mod bus is working properly and we can control both our load bank or fuel system 